It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. Oh, goodness. Investors paid $65,000 for a deserted Florida island. Now it's a paradise worth $14 million. What in the freaking hell? Why couldn't I be an investor in that? What in the freaking hell? Look at this. A vacant Florida island just off the coast of Tampa Bay, known to generations as Beer Can Island, because they just had nothing but beer cans. Literally, it's just flooded. Little crabs coming out of the beer cans. You had crabs walking around beer cans' as backs, you know, when they have the hermit crabs in there, under the ground. What is that? You pull it up, it's a beer can, but there's a freaking hermit crab attached to that beer can, you know? They don't use shells on Beer Can Island. They use beer cans. Uh, so it's recently been listed for $14 million by a group of savvy investors who bought it for $65,000 in 2017. Beer Can Island's legal name is Pine Key. It is composed of nine acres in Hillsborough Bay, about halfway between McDill Air Force Base and Apollo Beach. Pine Key earned the moniker Beer Can Island because for most of its existence, the only claim for fame was an informal party spot where boaters could gather and cut loose while largely out of sight of local authorities, dropping a crap load of cans in the process. After the party, the only evidence left behind were these empty cans of beer they consumed during festivities. Freaking Mark Stradamus again. Then four friends from the area had the idea to buy the beer can island afterwards. Like, look guys, I think there's enough cans here now. If we go and we just bring it back to five cents per can. We're looking at a profit here, right? I mean, look, you start digging, all you got is cans. Let's go back, five cents per can in it. We're rich, we're millionaires. You know, what's it gonna cost? 65,000? Yeah, we've got way more than that, just in the deposits. <laughs> yeah. uh, so guys, bottom line, they bought it, 65K, proceeded to upgrade its infrastructure by adding bathrooms, tropical style thatched roofs for cabanas, a members only water slide, and a full bar. Well, that's pretty freaking cool. The new improved Beer Can Island was a near instant hit with local party going population. It was decidedly less popular with the Hillsbury County officials though, you know, big brother. The early days of the redevelopment county authorities forced the new owners to close the bar and raised repeated issues about the ability to county emergency services to respond to emergencies on Beer Can Pine Island. However, Beer Can Island had never been officially zoned by the county before its purchase, and Florida state laws grant property owners a relatively high degree of autonomy, especially when they're operating a private club. This left the owners of the Beer Can Island enough flexibility to realize their vision of a private club, albeit not without a significant cash investment on their part. The four partners spent an estimated $5 million in renovations. Okay, so like, we get back to it. They spent 67000 on the price, 65000 on it, $5 million in renovations. They're in it for $5 million and change, $5 million, $65,000, and they're on it for fourteen. million? That's a $9 million profit. You know what I mean? Like this $8 million, $943,000 profit. That's pretty, so, that's pretty solid. You know what I mean? $35,000, $9 million. You know what I'm saying. Uh, any other bio, like islands that we can buy, we can do it together? Like, we should do that. I'm a realtor. I'll go and find an island that no one wants, right? We all together buy it. We're all owners, right? We go get other people to put five mil in, turn it into a private club, sell said private club, you know, to some stupid other investors. Those people are like, yay, we got this cool thing. We use the worst, like, materials ever. We get, like, the worst contractors. People, they don't have any accreditation. They have no license. They're just there. Like, the one, one room is like this, you know? But we take good pictures, and we just kind of, with Photoshop, you know, afterwards, we sell it online. Everything's being sold. You know, no one's even doing sight. It's sight unseen now, you know? You shoot it. We got a video going. It's a fake video. Hollywooded, you know, we get, you know, Cameron Crow comes out, he shoots it, and it's looking good. We pay Cameron Crow the money we were going to actually put into real good materials for the island, and we get the good video. Sell the video to an unsuspecting you know, investor that doesn't want to do due diligence. It's just a stupid billionaire. Buys it, we're out of there, cash in the pocket, he's got to fix that stupid floor that we put in like this. Right? Win, 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 win. <laughs> Except for the idiot billionaire who bought it sight unseen, you know, without doing due diligence. <laughs> Uh, it's just about the perfect plan, isn't it? So guys, let's just raise the funds. You know, we're doing, we're buying an island together. 
remember, we have to find the hackiest builder out there. We're looking for someone who's got two left feet. When they go to try to get back to the project, they do a circle. They're doing circles all the way back to the house so they can just put the, the post in the ground, you know? Creating a freaking tornado, that guy, the double left foot thing, you know? But that's the guy we want for this one. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with me? I couldn't, I couldn't keep that one serious. Gosh almighty, Mark. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.